All right, here's a tip. This is a tool that I made out of a big nail. I took it over to, with a sledgehammer and an anvil, and I flattened out this end down here. I took it to a grinder, ground it flat, brought it up to a nice point, not a sharp point, but smaller than a screwdriver tip. And then with this tool, what I can do is I can resurrect files. Now I have several hundred files, and many of them, I'd say at least half of them, are in really rough shape from now I have quite an extensive collection of files. I've actually got hundreds of files. I was very fortunate to be able to purchase a collection of files, sadly from a friend of mine who passed away, but he really knew what he was doing with files. And many of these, including some very big rafts, are quite expensive. I mean, a file like this would cost you 40 or $50. Some of the smaller ones are 15 to $20. That's about a $40 file right there. A big rasp like this, oh, I can only imagine how much that would cost. I'll bet that's a $100 tool. Now the problem is that a lot of these files get clogged up and it's really hard to use them after, after they get all jammed up with debris. Now you could take a pocket knife and, and run it through all of the grooves one by one, but that would take a really long time. And that's where this tool comes in. This thing has actually worked out quite nice. Now the concept here is once you get it flattened off, you take it and you start rubbing it on one end, put it in the vise, rubbing it on one end until you create these little tiny teeth. And the little tiny teeth will actually clean out the file. All right. Now I've already done about five or six files. And what you do is you take this flat that you've ground on the, uh, the grinder over there and you put it in the beginning of this right here and you start going back and forth and immediately it starts cleaning it out but you keep working on it diligently until you cut a bunch of little teeth because this is a soft steel it cuts the teeth quite nicely and all those little teeth will re-register in the next run I don't know if you can see that but it's cleaning out all the old debris all the old stuff and it takes you know, a few minutes, not, uh, not that long. But to resurrect a $40 file, it's certainly worth it. Now this doesn't sharpen the file, but most files, believe it or not, you can continue to use for a long time. And most people discard their files because they get all clogged up. They've got a thing called a file card. And basically it's a funny little wire brush designed for for files and that works really good but but if you get rust and, and embedded metal and all kinds of stuff deep in these grooves then it's really hard to get it out of here so give it four or five minutes and I tell you it re-registers the old grooves It's just pulling out so much garbage. Now I tested one of my files. I did a before and after, and it felt almost like a brand new file. The before was useless. It was just skittering right over and it didn't work very good. It was for wood files and for files that you use for metal. You can't use it on a rasp this way. The rasp is quite a bit different. It's got these little punched teeth. A little bit of a rusty spot over here. But I'll tell you, and then when you're all done, then you can take a, I got a little brass brush here, cleans out the last bit of it, and I can feel it. It feels like it's a cutting surface again. The other side, which I haven't done, it's smooth. There's the difference. Yeah, I, mean, I wish you could see what I'm doing or sense what I'm doing, but this is now a good cutting surface.